in the beginning, I had no intention uh, or, or whatsoever that what I, what I was practicing and what I'm still practicing now would lead to this. Yeah. <laughs> My father was born in 1940, in the year of the dragon and in the hour of the dragon. So he was a dragon through and through. 1940, November 27, Sagittarius. <laughs> Most people think of Bruce Lee as um, being from Hong Kong, but actually he's American. His mother is half German, so he himself is a quarter European. My father was raised in Hong Kong. He was part of a showbiz family. My father was in a Chinese opera, a completely different thing, you know. I rather like, you know, to watch the Lone Ranger, you know. <laughs> My father's very first on-screen appearance is when he was an infant. But he went on to act in over 20 films before the age of 18. He also became the cha-cha champion of Hong Kong. He was the Crown Colonies champion. He had a lot of fire, and he was always moving. His nickname was Mo Si Ting, which means never sit still. My father started training in Wing Chun Kung Fu at the age of 13. So he would be in school during the day, acting at night, studying Wing Chun Kung Fu with his Sifu Ip Man. Kung Fu can be practiced uh, alone or with a partner. Uh, practicing alone, they involve form. Some imitate a crane, a monkey, a praying man. This is a crane form. Start off. He would walk down the street with weights in his hand and punching the air and just always trying to figure out how to do things better, how to be faster. And he got really good really quickly to the dismay of a lot of the senior members in the school. When I first learned martial art, I too have challenged many established instructors. But what I have learned is that challenging means one thing, is that what is your reaction to it? At the time, it was really against tradition to teach Chinese Kung Fu to anybody who was not Chinese. He was actually kicked out of Ip Man's school at one point because they found out that he wasn't 100% Chinese. Both of them, they are so doggone stubborn, you know. Well, 200 years ago, I am taught like this, therefore, if you maintain that type of attitude, you will never grow because, I mean, learning is a constant discovery. He had been getting into a lot of trouble, participating in these illegal rooftop matches where different Kung Fu schools would come together and go up against each other to see who was better. So he was competing in these, and if he wanted to claim his US citizenship, he had to come back before he turned 19. And so his parents put him on a ship and sent him to the United States. Do you still think of yourself Chinese, or do you ever think of yourself as North American? You know what I want to think of myself? As a human being, under the sky, under the heaven, man, there is but one family. It just so happened, man, that people are different. Yeah.